It's a masterpiece of French engineering. And we're off. Built way back in the 17th century, the Canal du Midi is one of Europe's oldest canals still in operation and is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mind your head. Our trip begins in Béziers, the hometown of the canal's architect, Pierre-Paul Riquet. Jacques Nougaret is a tour guide who loves drifting back in time to the 1600s. This canal was used to link the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean in order to speed up the transportation of goods and also to avoid the Strait of Gibraltar, where boats were often under attack and where they had to pay royalties to the King of Spain. The canal's pride and joy are its many locks. At Fonserran, seven of them bring vessels slowly up and down a height of 20 metres. You have to get off the boat and tie a rope in front and a rope at the back. Now we're going up there. That's it. Now get back on the boat. The lock is now filled with water, right up to the level of the next lock. It's a communication system. It takes more than an hour to pass through all seven locks to then navigate onwards a little higher up. Everyone says hello on the canal. Hello! We have a meeting a little further along the waterway. Welcome. Thank you. Hello. Catherine is an expert on the oldest navigable tunnel in the world. The Malpass Tunnel was built in 1680 and measures 170 metres long. It was Riquet's desire to see the canal go under this hill. Why? Because it meant his waterway would then pass through his hometown of Béziers. It meant he had to dig through a very special volcanic rock called Tuff. It's a stone that's extremely dusty on the outside and extremely hard on the inside, making it difficult to deal with. The construction of the whole canal was personally overseen by King Louis XIV himself. It's from 1684. The speed limit on the canal is set to 20 kilometers an hour, making it easier to spot the best places to stop off. Through the centuries, the towpaths were remodeled and cafes and bars sprang up. Here's the homemade meringue coffee. Like here at Julien Lannay's place. We've got our own Champs-Élysées linking Set to Bordeaux and the canal with 85,000 cyclists and 36,000 barges. Hello. How's it going? But the centuries-old waterway also needs looking after. The canal in summer is just bliss. Growing amounts of boats on the canal are taking their toll. Barges coming through that sail a little faster are damaging the banks. We're noticing seepage along the canal side because of the high levels of traffic. The canal is fragile and it needs care and respect. A jewel of the waterway lies a few kilometres further on. The hamlet of Somai is one of the most visited and most photographed stops, with its old bridge, church and bookshop, which is a haven of peace and quiet, stocked with 50,000 works. It's splendid. It's magic. It's really great. You can really find what you're looking for. I found a bit of poetry, some philosophy, and also a bit of entertainment. When we came here in 1980, there was nothing to Somai. But there was so much charm already at that time. My father could see the potential and said something had to be done. Today, there are 24 businesses here restaurants and BNBs and so on, in a hamlet with just 450 locals. But not all of these businesses have set up shop on dry land. 
Stefan runs a grocery store on this barge, providing fresh food and basic supplies to the tourists who flock here. This bird here, it's great. <laughs> we have to do everything in a very little space. We have 20 meters to stock meat, fruit, vegetables, and it works. We have customers who are on the quayside, and we have all the boaters who arrive on the canal and stop to do their daily shopping. We're also grabbing some of Stefan's supplies as we press on with our trip. There you go. OK, thank you. See you soon. Thank you. What was once a bustling thoroughfare to carry cargo through this corner of France is now a calm stretch of water, the perfect place to meander and unwind.